Just, just a minute. I realize uh, what you're reading is fairly long. His Excellency, the Deputy President, if you may will, you may sit, and when taking the plea, you may stand. No, Mr. Speaker, let me stand. You may proceed, Clerk. I repeat. Consequently, His Excellency, the Gadi Gashagwa, has grossly violated Articles 6 to 10 to A, 174. 186 1 and 189 1 of the Constitution as read with the fourth schedule to the Constitution. Your Excellency, regarding Gashagwa, how do you plead to ground three? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Ground four, gross violation of Article 161 of the Constitution, that is, undermining the institutional and decisional independence of judges. Article 161 of the Constitution provides that the judiciary shall be subject only to this Constitution and the law and shall not be subject to the control or direction of any person or authority. Many international law instruments, treaties and principles require the guarantee of the judiciary's independence and require all government officers and institutions to respect and observe it. In 2023, His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa recklessly unmindful of the high calling and dignified status of the office of the deputy president of the republic of kenya and the need to respect protect and uphold the independence of the judiciary made a scathing public attack against the honorable lady justice esther minor judge of the high court of kenya and falsely threatened to file a petition for the removal of the said judge in gross violation of article 160 Five of the Constitution. The Honorable Judge had presided over a case in which His Excellency Rigadi Gashago was a party and had, in the lawful performance of her judicial function, ordered His Excellency Rigadi Gashago to forfeit to the state the sum